Hi everybody. Today what I'm going to share with you is how I make buttermilk pancakes. This is one of my favorite batters that I make pretty frequently and it's real easy. The first thing that we're going to need is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a quarter cups of buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, you can use just plain milk or you can make your own buttermilk. It's one teaspoon of vinegar to one cup of milk. Okay, and then we're going to need two tablespoons of sugar, one egg, two tablespoons of melted butter, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one quarter teaspoon of salt, and what I like to add for flavor is one teaspoon of vanilla. If you don't like the vanilla flavor, you do not have to add it, but it gives it a real nice cake-like taste. Okay, and the first thing that we're going to do, this is real easy, you do not beat this batter very much, is you take your flour, you take basically all your dry ingredients, and you're going to whisk them together, everything in the pool, all the dry, and you're just going to give this a whisk. Okay, and then all the wet ingredients, we're going to pour them in together and we're going to whisk these together. Okay, you're going to whisk this up here. And you do it in here just so you don't have to beat the batter too much because that's what keeps your pancakes light and fluffy. And this way you break up the egg and incorporate. Okay, now that this is combined. We pour it into our batter and you give this a whisk. And like I said, you don't want to overbeat this. A, a few lumps is okay. You just want to whisk it gently. And if you feel, this is why I prepare one and a half cups of milk. If this is too thick, you add a little bit more milk. And that's it. That's all you do. Okay? And it's lumpy like that. And that's normal, okay? We're going to cover this with the saran wrap, and we're going to let this set for 15 minutes. Let the dough, the batter set, okay? And then we'll come back and grill them up. Okay, guys, we're ready. You're going to get some butter and a little brush, or if you don't have a brush, just use a paper napkin. Just put a little bit on the skillet, and I'm going to get a, a measuring cup, the one-third and just pour it in the middle, and that's it. We're just gonna let it sit. When the bubbles start to come up all the way around, that's when it's time to flip. You kinda have to play with the fire a little bit. You don't want it too hot, you don't want it too low. I keep it on a medium, medium to low, and everybody's stove is different, so you need to do your adjusting. I'm gonna bring you in close so you can see the bubbles. I hope you could see that. See how the bubbles start coming up? And then if you can stick your spatula under there, you can take a look. And I see mine is ready. And we flip. And then just leave it alone. It seems like the fire is a little bit too hot. I'm going to lower it just a little bit. And you see how they're fluffing up? Just make sure the brown, the bottom side is not burning. And that's it. And then repeat. I'm going to keep going with these. Okay guys, so here's the finished product. And out of this batter you get nine medium pancakes. You can make them smaller or thinner, that's up to you, but this is how they look, and they're just absolutely fluffy, okay? And then you just get a little bit of butter if you like, put it on, put it on everywhere, and then you take your syrup and apply it, you put some maple syrup or strawberry syrup, whatever you like, and there you go, that makes for a fabulous weekend breakfast.
Okay, guys, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and go visit us on Facebook at Virtual Kitchen with Laura. Okay, guys, see y'all later. Bye.